Um, Kevin Donahue, I'm the Deputy City Administrator. I am pleased to be here. I am pleased to be able to introduce our mayor. And I am, I am, it's wonderful that so many of you have turned out today. Um, I have been for, mo for my entire career both a consumer, a user, and producer of data and transparency. Um, and I cannot be more excited about what the mayor has driven us towards, which is um, the advent of a new open government and open data policy, the engagement of our residents um, uh, in helping us produce that, um, and uh, in allowing us to be able to use transparency to allow you to hold us to account, but also make us a better government. Um, what you're going to hear today, the mayor has been passionate about from day one, uh, uh, both data, transparency, uh, and our ability to transform government by using them. Uh, so uh, with no further ado, uh, it's my pleasure to be able to announce our mayor, Muriel Bowser. Well, good morning, everybody. I am uh, really excited uh, to be here this morning uh, to talk about accountability, make an exciting announcement, uh, and, and hear from, from all of you as we, we get a look around all the exciting things that's, that's happening here. Uh, let me uh, first acknowledge our interim chief technology officer, David Bishop. Where's David? Right here in the front. We're very grateful to David for stepping up to the plate and providing excellent leadership here at Octo. Uh, let's acknowledge all of our Octo employees. Let's hear it for Octo employees. If you worked in DC government and you got an email today, thank Octo. Uh, if you're a citizen and made a call to 911, it was probably because of something Octo helped us with. Uh, and if you are a citizen and you're driving uh, down one of our streets and you're dealing with traffic lights or anything uh, that involves uh, technology, our very able team in the district government has been involved in it, and we're very, very thankful for your service. I also uh, want to acknowledge a new member of the team who is I uh, put in charge of of open data and making sure um, that we were harnessing uh, the energy and the talents of our community in solving the problems of government. Um, and I'm really, really grateful um, to our Director of Technology and Innovation, Matt Bailey. Give Matt a big round of applause. So uh, Kevin and I uh, have, uh, with all of our government, been really focused on these issues over um, the many uh, months that we've been in office. I think uh, we just celebrated a year, and we're really happy about that. And there are a lot of things that we've been able to do within the government, and our stakeholder communities have been so important um, in that, too. So I want to acknowledge all of the members of the Open Government Coalition, uh, Code for D.C., the Sunlight Foundation, uh, and the Office of Go Open Government right in D.C. government. So give them a big round of applause. Uh, and uh, the other very exciting thing that I wanted to talk to you uh, about is uh, that we have and we are going to uh, announce today our new chief technology officer. Uh, and we have been uh, looking around our country for someone who would be bold and creative, a well-planned risk taker, and someone who uh, would put the district uh, on the national stage. And I'm thrilled today uh, to to introduce Archana Vimapalali, uh, who is going to be our CTO. Archana, give her a big round of applause. And is, I'll, I'll get it right, I promise. Archana Vimma La Pali. And Archana is going to be an excellent director for us. She has served as a CTO for Pristine um, Environment since August 2013 and has extensive experience leading operations for technology program management and application development within, di within a diverse range of clients. Uh, her clients have included the Defense Information Systems Agency, 
uh, D.C. government, um, and Fortune 500 companies all over uh, our country. Uh, so our administration is committed uh, to increase transparency and accountability district-wide, and our China and all of you are going to help us deliver on that promise. Uh, last week, uh, I announced uh, with the Deputy Mayor for Planning and Economic Development a new economic intelligence dashboard. This dashboard is an open source economic data tool uh, that will help us drive positive change and build good government for DC residents, particularly DC's economic development priorities. Uh, the MPD is also now adding updated data around crime uh, statistics to the MPD website every business day so that residents and visitors have instant access Access to the latest statistics uh, that relate to public safety. And so those are just a couple of examples of the ways that open, uh, open source data uh, can help us solve problems, but also uh, make sure that the operations of government are transparent to the community. So in order to do our job to serve the residents of the district, we collect and analyze data on a range of issues. Uh, the metrics we use to monitor our progress uh, will be found on websites all over our government and it's up to us to make them more digestible and usable to the public. Uh, we will um, provide mapping tools that provide information like crime data uh, and public school statistics uh, and one of my favorites, budget and revenue data uh, that the chief financial officer uses to make sure our finances are strong. We want that data to be available to residents so that they can follow how we build budgets and deliver on um, the promises that we've made. We know that that knowledge is power. We also know that the everyday users of our government services can often tell us um, the best things to do um, instead of us telling them what we think are the best things to do. Our open data policy uh, will be multifaceted. Uh, part of the draft policy, and I say draft uh, because we are still open for comments on the policy, uh, but the first order of business will be to hire a new chief data officer uh, to fully harness the millions of, millions of data points collected in the district and offer them to the public. Uh, to move our priorities forward. Uh, we will also par be partnering with the community to launch an independent regional data catalog for greater collaboration uh, between our neighbors and their residents as well. We will also be relaunching the Open Government Advisory Board to get direct feedback from key stakeholders across many areas to guide us uh, forward and hold us accountable. And I'm very proud that several members of the advisory board are here today. Um, and if you are here, please stand. Robert Becker, Catherine Pettit, Justin Grimes, Shannon Turner, Alia Rahman, and Joshua uh, Tauberer. Give them a round of applause. So these uh, folks will work uh, with task force members from district government to ensure that we're innovative and responsive and accountable. Uh, and finally, our policy uh, calls for launching an open source program so that residents can improve government uh, directly by recommending improvements to government services and programs. And with this policy, we will make the district one of the most open jurisdictions in uh, the entire country. Uh, so I remember I said this is a draft. It's a work in progress. We want to hear from you and hear your comments. Our policy also calls for us to update the policy uh, on an annual basis so that it will be a real uh, living uh, document. So with that, I want to first call on Archana to, to say hi and uh, give greetings, and then we want to hear from Matt Bailey about the specifics, any more specifics about our new policy. Archana. I truly want to thank you, Mayor Bowser. This is a deep honor. I feel very privileged, honored, and humbled to be in this role. And I really look forward to working with the great team here at Octo. I think we're going to work really well together, do amazing things, and serve my city. I mean, to be in that role is truly amazing. Thank you. Thank you. 
Matt, let's talk about open government. Okay, hi. <laughs> Okta, how are we doing? All right. Okay, so first I want to thank uh, Mayor Bowser for her leadership in um, kickstarting this new era of openness and collaboration uh, for DC and its residents. I also want to welcome our new CTO, and especially um, Dave, our interim CTO, I want to thank you for your leadership and support in general, but also in making this program happen um, today. Um, I also want to thank uh, the new and the returning uh, public members of the Open Government Advisory Group. It's an incredible thing uh, that DC, all DC had to do was ask. And uh, the three of you and everybody who couldn't be here today said, heck yes, like, when, where do I show up um, to help make our shared home a better place? Um, everybody should go and Google all these people immediately. We have world-renowned experts in open data, open government, civil rights. Um, and community-based activism and, and, and um, professional development, all in one place, all to think about not just how to make open data big in the district, but how to make it make real change for everybody. Um, I think there are a couple things implicit in the mayor's points uh, that I wanted to just call out. I think the first is knowledge is power, and we need to use government to share that power uh, equitably across the district. Um, and the second is that government itself is more effective uh, more innovative, and just generally gooder uh, when we share our knowledge with district residents, when we pool the knowledge that we have with the residents of the district. So today's announcement builds off the work that the government and the community have been doing for the last, I don't know, the better part of a decade, depending on how you want to count it, to, um, to articulate what a truly open DC would look like. Uh, and the policy, as uh, the draft stands, is uh, rooted in that collective wisdom, if we've done our job right, uh, of uh, DC's open government and civic hacking communities. The, the mayor uh, highlighted a few of the key proposed planks of this policy, a strong CDO role, uh, regional coordination, and the reestablishment of the advisory group. Um, but there's also a promise here to bring open data practices to policymaking itself. Over the next month, we need the help of all eight wards making this policy as effective, as understandable, and as exciting as possible. Um, I also want to thank uh, the OpenGov Foundation, who have stepped to the plate as our um, community partners in building the new website that we're using to collect feedback from the public. Uh, you can open your phones, or when you get back to your desks or back to your places of residence, you can pull up drafts.dc.gov, which is a new website that uses OpenGov Foundation's Madison platform. Um, this platform enables you to provide your comments, register your support or your dissent from the policy overall. Uh, and it also allows people to talk to each other and engage in conversation about what this policy should be. Um, so let's get down to brass tacks. The draft policy will be up on drafts.dc.gov for the next four weeks. Um, so please do make sure to send in comments or talk with each other or engage with the government uh, before February 15th. You can do this in several ways. One is you can use drafts.dc.gov. You can comment, annotate, and discuss there. You can also email any thoughts you might have to open at dc.gov. You can tweet your comments to Octo, at OctoDC, uh, and you can also use the hashtag OpenDataDC uh, to talk with one another. Uh, and finally, if you prefer, you can uh, mail your comments uh, to uh, care of Octo, care of Open Data Policy at 200 I Street Southeast, Suite 500. That's here. Um, last but not least, we'll be announcing opportunities to engage directly in person at real life events. Uh, over the next several weeks, uh, so you can keep your ears tuned for that. So after we've received everyone's comments, we will revise the policy transparently, talking about what's possible, what's not possible, trying to synthesize between conflicting comments or different comments we may have received, um, and communicate the why behind the changes that we're making. Then we'll post the final copy to the DC Register, and the magic will start. So uh, in closing, I would say the really exciting thing about this policy, at least as it stands right now, is that it will continue to be updated going forward. Um, I think there's a sense that, first of all, it's certainly not perfect as it stands, and also that the open data conversation itself is evolving over time and should be an experiment. Um, so over the next year, we'll solicit more feedback and then revise the policy at that point, and then the year after that, and the year after that. Uh, in closing, I want to say that this is just the beginning. 
It's the beginning of DC government and DC residents teaching each other what a truly open and collaborative government looks like. And we're incredibly excited to create that future together. Thank you. And I should say, I have a website to give out too. It's called, and somebody correct me if I get it wrong, mayor.dc.gov backslash accountability. Where, where are you going to find, what are you going to find when you go there? Anybody, anybody, anybody? I'll tell you. Uh, it is our first year report. Uh, we promised and we revealed last night uh, to our transition committee uh, a year ago or a year or so ago when we were building the government, uh, I invited 300 Washingtonians to join me on a transition committee to focus on about five dish, different issue areas. Um, one of them uh, was, was good government, and so I, I hope that those transition committees committee members, I see Adam here, uh, will find a lot of your recommendations in uh, this draft policy. Um, but for all of the different uh, issue areas, we have uh, given an update on where we are with them, the things that have been completed in th year one, launched, uh, things that, and even some things that we've, we've reconsidered, and we're very pleased with the progress that, that we've made uh, in this first year. So mayor.dc.gov slash accountability. Uh, so I'm happy to answer any questions, if there are press questions or the community questions, staff questions. Mayor, I want to hear you say your last name again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> not, not right now. <laughs> Vima, I'll get it. I'll get it. Or I just call her director. <laughs> I think she'll, she'll like that. <laughs> okay. Thank you, everybody.